welcome. Namaste. Namaste, everybody. Welcome to session 13. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings be happy. All beings be happy. May all my thoughts, words and actions contribute in some way to the happiness of all beings. This is a good moment to close our eyes and let those words sink in. The feeling of everyone benefiting from our lives. It's a interesting concept to imagine that we can make everybody around us happy. May all my thoughts, words and actions in some way go towards the happiness of all people. And, uh, you know, it's one thing to imagine making people happy, but it's also another thing to contemplate our own happiness, our own inner happiness. And, uh, and most of the gurus, when they come down to it, happiness is a, a huge issue because happiness on one level looks very superficial, but it's not easy to be happy. It's not easy and, it, and it's something that uh, we can again contemplate as we chant this mantra and constantly and with intention to look for that space within. It is a childlike space where we're just happy for no reason, no reason at all. Once we locate that and once we keep this mantra with us, that possibility, that potential that is in the mantra can be accessed anytime. Of course, we want to make the world a happier place, but we have to begin with ourselves. This mantra is a good starting point. We seem to need constant reminders that, for example, that even our thoughts are powerful and that we can nourish our thoughts to go in a positive direction or that we can let them slip into negativity, which they sometimes like to go towards. We'd like to introduce to you the word bhav, B-H-A-V, bhav. It's a Sanskrit word, and it means the devotional attitude, the feeling of being surrounded by divinity. Which, of course, makes one happy. So the bhav is happiness. We can live in the bhav, we can live in a way that increases the bhav, or we can live in a way that decreases our bhav. They are bhav boosters and bhav busters. And we really know what they are. We know whether something leaves us feeling nourished or something leaves us feeling empty. And it's about being more and more intelligent and choosing the things that lift our spirits, choosing the things that make us more generous, more loving towards ourselves and others. Yeah. So as we tune into ourselves more and more, we realize more and more what nourishes us and what nourishes us benefits everyone around us. And that's the mantra, may all beings be happy. May all my thoughts, words and actions contribute in some way to the happiness of all beings. And that's not just people, it's beings, that's animals, and plants, and all living things around us. The mantra is your key. Focus on the mantra. You don't have to think about anything. Let that mantra permeate, and you will find that transformation is always available through these sacred chants. They're like tuning forks. These sounds, they tune our beings to the particular vibration. So let's close our eyes. And you're welcome to sing with us, to let your being be filled with the vibration of these sacred sounds.
Oh
Indro Prasvati, Shabna Vishnu Rukama, Namo Brahmani, Namaste Vayu, Tvameva Pratyaksham Brahmasi, Tvameva Pratyaksham Brahma Vadisyami, Ritam Vadisyami, Satyam Vadisyami, Tanma Vavatu, Tarpaktara Vavatu, Avatu Mam, Avatu Vaktara. Take a deep breath. Feeling connected to all living things around us. Feeling the benevolence of all living things around us. Everything's working together that we can be here and that we can feed our bodies and that we can be safe and comfortable. Ultimately, through the mantras, feeding our very soul. All blessings to you. Namaste. Namaste.